Hey guys, Papa Rome's here. I have one question for you. That is, do you believe suckerfish is better tasting than lake trout? Let's see. Here. That's awesome. Which one do you think is best? Stay tuned for this video. It'll blow your mind. Oh, yeah. We're going to take this and go check it out. Next person. We have a lot of controversy on my Facebook and Instagram page at suckerfish taste like mud. I beg to differ though, because, well, we're not catching them in mud. We're getting them out in rock bottom rivers and streams. I totally understand, and I'm right there with all you guys thinking sucker is just a horrible smelling, looking, tasting fish. I think they're beautiful looking because a lot of them are gold and different colors, but the fact of the matter is they're bottom feeders. They're not like a catfish or more like a carp. And well, why would they be good? And I, I mean, in reality, so so we're gonna put that to the test. I have lake trout fillets here from this lake trout that I just caught up against sucker fillets right here, the white ones. We're gonna fry them up and I'm gonna feed them to my family and we're gonna do a comparison and see what they think. I'm not gonna tell them which one's which. I'm just gonna give them some pieces and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, so right off the bat, you could tell the lake trout was a big lake trout. It was a seven and a half pound laker. Wind is starting to pick up, getting a little choppy. 30 degrees today, it was 28 when I got up. And uh, catch them on a cold day. Let's see here. Into that. It's starting to run. Holy cow, I can't believe this. Look at this thing, how big it is. Oh man, he's a big laker. Look at him out there. You want to put this under the water? Alright. Here he comes, here he comes. There's another. Oh man. Ready? Oh, cow! <laughs> wow. Oh, nice, babe. <laughs> and what did she tell me? <laughs> Holy cow. He's a big one. She just told me, oh, you caught a twink and I'm arguing <laughs> with her. I was like, oh, I got a fish. I got, I, I don't even know. I don't know. All right, let me get that line. Oh man, this is a nice fish. <laughs> That's a big one. At least seven pounds, I would imagine. My brother just got that eight pounder a couple days ago. Six, seven, eight on the mark. Eight, eight, eight. pounds. Nice. Hold it. 29 inches. Well, to the tip here, it'll be even longer. And he is seven and a half pounds. Somewhere right around, oh. Maybe somewhere at 28 and a half. All right, so a lot of people use stringers, fish stringers, uh, the little metal ones with the clip. They're good and everything, but when you get really big fish, what happens is I had it break off with two big leakers last year or two years ago, and I lost my fish. So ever since then, I just use 550 cord or um, don't even have to use 550. I, I like the 1100 cord, the thicker one it doesn't uh get out usually so i just take like a five foot length put it through their gill and i come up through their mouth make a slip knot on this side and when i come through here you can cinch the knot down and then cinch that right down and every other fish after this you can just put it right on top and we put the fish right in the water 
to know you have a fresh fish and it'll be ready to go to eat. That's it. I'm best off. I have my steel shad rag. I still have this thing. I love it. it takes all the slime off. And uh, it's just a good thing. Carabiner clip hooks on your waist. Really enjoy this thing. These uh, suckers are somewhere right around the four to five pound mark. One might have been right around seven. But it's a big fish for an ultra fight. Look at them out there. The fight with the ultralight is definitely good, but the big part of this video is going to be compare this fish up to trout today. So we'll see the difference in the flavor. Yeah, it's a nice one. Good job. Another beauty. These are beautiful colors. Look how gold. <laughs> Holy cow. I think this is, I don't even know if this is a sucker or a trout, but this is huge. I see him out there. This one's fighting hard. No! The quality of the fillet of the lake trout is just phenomenal. I mean, how are you going to beat that, you know? The firmness is, is there. The color is there. It's salmon grade looking. And the suckers are more of a panfish. White meat, smaller. So I'm going to cut these up. We're going to portion them out. And then we're going to cook them up. Stay tuned. So if you want to watch how to fillet these, either of them, I have the videos up in the description. I'll put these above. But lake trout, you get a lot more meat, higher quality meat. I could tell from the years of eating them. They have the omega oil, just a better quality. But if you want to learn how to fillet these suckers, because they are unique, um, to have no bone. These are no bones in these areas here. Well, then I'm going to have you take a look at the videos because I had to fillet quite a bit of them to make sure that I was doing it properly. And uh, this is the easiest way. And I feel like I'm getting a good portion of meat here for what they are. Like I said, if you want to check it out, just check out the links above and you'll see exactly how um, we fillet them. Also, if you're interested in watching the catching cooks or the catching of them, feel free to watch that as well. What I did was I just kind of quartered them up into all little one inch pieces. And the reason why I do that is it gives it a really good crunch, a nice bite to it. But you can see what beautiful, beautiful colors the lake trout give. For the seasoning we have here, flour, onion powder, adobo, garlic powder, ginger, parsley, dried parsley, black pepper, and paprika. And it's gonna kind of blend this together. everybody's inside so that's why we're using this old camp stove i have this thing's got to be close to 35 years old at least it was my parents and it's all rusted to crap but it's still working which blows my mind so that's what we're using and uh excuse the look of it but whatever as long as it gets the job done you know so all you want to do is incorporate it you could tell once um you know the white fully goes out of the flour and it just kind of pulls together and after this you won't even need anything else okay. there you go all we're going to do is we're going to do the trout first because they're thicker so pretty much all you got to do is just drop them in coat them and now we're going to drop them in the fryer and that's that and then we'll do the same for the suckers but we're trying to keep them separated because i want to see the difference i want well you could tell the difference but i want to see what uh, my family thinks as well i thought it would be a pretty cool uh project to just see what people think the difference because i'm getting so much controversy on facebook and instagram and uh personally i always thought sucker would be a junk fish to eat and i couldn't imagine eating it and i never would have ate it so we're just gonna do that so now these are all fully incorporated here you can see you know, you just want to shake that off. 
and we'll uh, cook them up once it's up to temperature. Looks good to me. Oh yeah. These are going to be quick. I cannot see these going for more than like three to five minutes. I mean three minutes. It depends how crispy you want them, but they're already crisping up really nice. So just stir them up till they're golden brown. I got the temperature cranking. These are going to be good. These are going to be really good. Smells amazing already. Turkey season's coming, so I hope you guys are wanting to see some footage I got from last year that I didn't put out, along with my new turkey footage that I'm looking to get this year. And I can't wait to go after these birds. Hope everybody's staying safe out there with everything going on. It's unreal, but hopefully you can keep your mind off things and get out a little bit if your state's allowing you. Look at that. So see how they float up? They're floating, they're done. They're crispy when you touch them, they're crunchy, crispy. That's how you know they're done. Forgot to do this fish. I do that real quick. And I got a surprise video coming up after this one. We're going to be cooking the eggs and I got an awesome recipe. Completely different. Something we used to use for fish smelt back in the day. You're going to want to stay tuned. That one's going to be special. We're utilizing the whole fish. Fertilizer is going to be turned for the garden. All right, let's get these suckers out. Got to be delicate here. You'll knock it over. Man, oh man, look at that. Wow. Amazing, huh? You could add a little seasoning if you need it, but usually you don't. Just trying to get these out quick. Might even dump some french fries in here after. Homemade um, potato fries after. All right, so that's good. Now... We're gonna dump our sucker directly in. Those are gonna be real quick. more see if we can fit them. Do this outside so if it catches on fire nobody gets hurt. Just move them around lightly let the oil coat them and just leave them until they are going to be crispy and crunchy. That's it. As long as you have high heat 350 minimum it'll bring them right up to 10. These are oh they look amazing. I'm going to separate these out. You know what's cool? That was a tiny piece. That was just the one strip off the lake trout fillet. So that goes a long way. That one lake trout was seven and a half pounds. The other one was eight pounds. Those are gonna be like four or five meals. I mean, that was one strip off each side and then we have like quadruple the amount of meat. So it's an amazing thing. All right. So here it is, getting crispy. Looking good. If you want to get crunchy, crispy fish, secret, have high temperature. Don't have too high because you'll burn your flour or batter. So it's got to be around 350, a little bit higher. I could go off hearing and smell and sight. I don't need a thermometer. But so you need high heat. Don't overcrowd your pan like I just did. If you happen to do so, just leave it a little bit longer. It'll dry up the moisture, which is evaporating, and it's going to cook it off. That 
then we'll crisp it. See how it's getting nice and chunky crispy here? That's perfect. So you just gotta leave it a little bit longer. See how they're floating up? That's your third secret. See how they're, it's floating to the top? Once it's floating, that means it's done. But I want these crunchy, so I'm just gonna leave them a hair longer. Okay, so these are done now. We're gonna pull them out. They look good. He doesn't want to be on camera, but we're gonna have him try it anyway. Grab, grab one. This is, this here is one side. This is another. So I want you to try it and tell me which one you like more. He took my piece. Actually, I'll have. This is the left side. Yeah. What do you think? Tastes good. Okay. So now the right side. A little fishy. A little fishy. All right. Maybe the belly area. It was the belly. That was exactly the belly cut, and I left that piece for me, knowing it would be fishier and fattier. But not bad. So what do you think about the right? Oh, way better. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Way better. That's one for the sucker and um, Lake oh, Trout. So, so mild, the right one. Mild, he said. All right, we're going to take this and go check it out. Next person. Oh, yeah. Shut, shut that. Really? Yeah, that was way better. Because I had to finish. Hey! Oh, All right. It looks. Oh my goodness. So I'll try one from the left and one from the right. Wow. This Let me see. Really okay. Good. Just watch for any bones on that. Mm. What do you think? Good. Oh. Is it? Oh my goodness. Especially when it's nice and hot. All right. Try one from the oh, that which side. Which one's a leak? No, no. I'm not telling you. That's a hard one. Really? Both okay. You got that one, and then try the other because side. You have two different fish. Let's but watch they, for bones on that one. You have two different fish, but they yeah. Both, they taste yeah, but try different. it. Tell me which one you think. The sucker has more flavor than the Laker. The sucker has more flavor than the Laker. They do. They do. The, the Laker is very good, but that one has a, an extra texture. You want more? Well, I'll bring it back in. She's cooking. What are you cooking here? Oh, Make man. Homemade fries. Fries. Venison burgers. We're about to be doing. Okay, now I got one more. That's really good. I got one more here. We got to please. And my dog, she wants it too. Whoa. And then I want to try it. And like I said, stay tuned. We're going to be doing those sucker eggs and try those out. And, uh, well, so far, sucker's winning three to the zip from the Laker. Donut, 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 donut. Hello. Time to check it out. <laughs> All right. So we have left and right fish, two different fish. Okay. You try and tell me which one you just like better. That's okay. all. Don't give me any. Okay. Just watch for bones on either one because I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. You can eat the eggs later. Okay. Let me see the inside of them. Mmm, they're both really good. I think. I think I like this one better. Oh yeah? Why are you laughing? It's lake trout. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not four suckers to zip so far. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three. Three suckers. Three suckers beat the lake trout so far and now look, it's just the texture it's flaky okay okay crunchy. here don't fall all right ready Woo! i cannot believe this right now i cannot believe this so three people i gotta try the dog see what she thinks <laughs> we're gonna try the mm, oh is this your piece here no i ate it mm. The sucker, because I've eaten a lot of fish in my life, I know what I'm doing, Ma, believe me. Because of that, the sucker, could ta it tastes like a panfish in between a bluegill, walleye. I'm going to try a piece after, but it's good, very good. Now, my laker. That's a tough one. That is tough. 
And I'm going to tell you why. The sucker, I have the batter all over me, guys, forgive me. The sucker is like a panfish. The laker is like a salmon, right? Is that what you would say? Mm-mm. She doesn't know. <laughs> The Laker, this is crazy. The Laker is fishier. It's a fishier flavor, but it's creamier like a salmon. Where well, I got to give it up to the sucker. Sucker wins. I never thought that would happen. I'm disappointed. I love lake trout. I catch lake trout and eat them all the time. So they all chose... Everybody. <laughs> four for four. That I never saw coming. Wow. All right, guys. Well, if you like what you saw today, I'm blown away. I'm sure you're probably like, this guy's full of crap because that's what I would have thought. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Got about Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be cooking up the egg sex. And I know <laughs> she is dying for that one. I just tried to give her more as I'm walking away with the bowl because everyone's gonna eat it. And she didn't even want the leaker. She just wanted the sucker fish. Blows my mind.